Welcome to the best guide to home brewing. This segment will show you how to clean and sanitize equipment for kegging beer. In order to ensure your batch of homebrew turns out well, you will need to make sure your equipment is clean and sanitized while you put your newly fermented beer into a keg. Kegging is the easiest and fastest way to enjoy your homebrew. Once you keg, you'll find it hard to go back to the more complex, time-consuming bottling. Not to mention, you can drink your keg beer over a week earlier than your bottled homebrew. Once you're ready to keg, add five gallons warm water to your bucket. Add one quarter cup of PBW cleaner and stir it in with a spatula. Add the hose and siphon and let it sit for five minutes. You will need to flip the siphon around halfway through the cleaning process. Transfer a couple gallons to the keg before rinsing everything using warm water. Clean the keg by sealing and shaking it thoroughly. Then, connect your CO2 and pressurize the keg to around 20 PSI. Connect your tap and let the water flow out for a minute or two. Release the pressure, open the keg, and rinse it thoroughly. Now, fill the bucket with five gallons of cool water. Use one ounce of Star Sand Sanitizer, gently stir it in with the spatula, then add the hose and siphon. Remember to flip the siphon halfway through. After five minutes, transfer a couple gallons of sanitizer to your keg and place your sanitized equipment in a clean area. Sanitize the keg by sealing and shaking it thoroughly. Connect your CO2 and pressurize the keg to around 20 PSI. Connect your tap and let the water flow out for a minute. Release the pressure, open the keg, and pour out the remaining sanitizer. You'll likely have bubbles at the bottom of the keg, but that's okay. Now you're ready to add your beer to the keg. Check out our kegging video for specific instructions, and then in 24 to 48 hours, you'll be enjoying your homebrew on tap.